Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I hope everyone will be fine and will be indulged in a lot of activities of crochet because winters are approaching and obviously we need something new for every winter. Today I'm going to show you this uh, pattern which is called the basket weave pattern. I'm interested in uh, using this one into shawls but they are it can be used in several other items as a bath sheet, uh, uh, making cushion covers or making table mats etc. So this one is so uh, uh, unique and beautiful stitch and can be easily used in different stuffs. So let's begin. Uh, before starting let me show you uh, one thing that we can use this we can make uh, this stitch with four stitches you can see this the, there are four stitches we can make it with five stitches and uh, according to the size or the like the zoomness we can make it uh, we can adjust our stitches accordingly for example uh, here I've used three rows so if we uh, we extend the uh, width, we will extend the length too. So let's begin. I'm using 8mm hook and yarn. Let's chain, um, by taking this pattern means 4-4, four, four, I will take 24 plus 2 stitches. Chain, sorry. So these are 24 stitches and plus 2 is 25 and 26. Now in this row we will take uh, a double crochet in the third stitch like this and continue double crochet throughout this row. So let me finish it first and then show you how to uh, make that basket weave. So you can see I've just completed the double crochet row. These are 24 double crochet. Now after that we will make uh, this basket weave. We'll start this. Here you can see it is simply the combination of front post double crochet and back post double crochet. If you do not know how to do front post and back post, you can uh, see my video on uh, front post uh, stitch and back post stitch. So now um, let me show you how to do it. Uh, we'll turn and take two chains. Now, what we will do is we will take four front post double crochet by taking these four uh, double crochet. So, yarn over, come here and take the stitch, yarn over and bring it down from it, drop two, and then drop two. Again, we will yarn over, come here and pick the stitch yarn over bring it from the back side and then yarn over drop two and drop two similarly again we will do the same this is called front post okay so this is the last front post double crochet now you can see it is a kind of bulging you can see now in the next four we will make or uh, we will take uh, the back post a uh, double crochet for this we will yarn over bring our hook from back side here and pick the hook of that stitch from back side yarn over bring yarn through this and then yarn over drop drop two and drop two see we have made a back post double crochet again yarn over bring hook from the back pick the stitch 
yarn over bring across it yarn over drop two and then drop two we'll do the same for the next two stitches like this and now again for the next okay so first we had uh, four front post double crochet then we had four uh, four front uh, back post double crochet now we will have a front post four front post and then four back post until the uh, their row ends so let me make this now we will take front post four times front post and then we will take back post now back post there must be difficulty in handling it but once you in, you just increase the rows that will be handy and the initial rows it will be difficult to handle it and then the fourth back post see like this now you can see the difference it's matching like this you know this bulging then this row see it's working now again front post and the four front post and then four back post and then we will turn okay now you can see i'm done with it and I see here the two chains we took i'm not uh, doing any back post or front post in this i'm leaving it here and now we will take two chains and turn when you turn it will convert into opposite stitches now here the fr the back uh, the back post turns into front post so we will take care of it because uh, like uh, this pattern we have one two and three rows to make this portion and you will see here we have this one row and then this two second row now here we will make a front post to uh, to finish the three rows and here, here we will make a back post to finish this uh, back post portion so instead of taking back post because these are back posts we will by turning it uh, 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 we will uh, change the stitch and we will take it front post so take the front post two this third one and fourth one so you can see this is now it it looks like this one the length is equal now and for this next portion the next four stitches we will take back post double crochet one two three and four this is a an expert stitch and i'm uh, also making it in a speed because if you know the front post and the back post you can understand it easily but if you do not know it you must have to first learn these two stitches and for that i will uh, uh, put the link in uh, the description you can easily find those stitches there and after that when you have a command in front post and back post then you will be able to do these stitches easily mm -hmm. so i will complete this row and then show you how to uh, do the next row mm -hmm. 
Now you can see I just finished it and uh, according due to the set uh, mindset uh, we just finished it because we took four stitches according to this pattern and three rows for this whole proportion so now we will switch the stitches what we will do is uh, take two chains and turn now we will see here we have front post double crochet so we will make back post double crochet here and here we have back post double crochet we will take a front post double crochet here so yarn over and oh sorry yarn over and take back post double crochet here it is a little bit tricky because the handling is difficult this first stitch is tricky the rest is easy okay then again back post another back post and another back post okay now here we have back post so we will take front post in these front post front post front post and another front post now see how it looks this portion just converted into our basket weave when we add additional uh, row to it following the same pattern the overall look will convert into uh, this uh, basket weave structure so we will continue this way here we have front post we will do back post here then back post so we will do front post and then shift to the next row so let me continue now you can see i just finished that row and took another row above it uh, uh, by switching the stitches here i took front post double crochet and after that i took a back post double crochet and continued this here one thing to be noticed is that uh, initially we took a plain a double crochet stitch and after that we made two rows uh, it became a, a pattern of three rows but he uh, here we will continue that front post and double, back post combination three times in three rows when you make it in two rows it will uh, not uh, uh, complete the length because here we took an extra row with it and after that we make two rows of front post and back post combination now we just make made this uh, two rows and it's not going to that extent so after that we will again may make another uh, row uh, following the same pattern which must be followed and that is uh, here we took um, front post so we will switch and take back post like this and another back post and continue it according to the pattern this and that fourth back post now we will take a front post like this here you will see that the uh, uh, pattern is a little bit elongated but don't worry when you do and the next row over it which will uh, 
uh, be uh, of above this we will have a back post so it will uh, uh, just shrink the length and will be uh, equal to this one so this is the main pattern how of our um, basket weave works so i hope you all uh, will uh, make it easily you will understand this video if you just go through my video try to make it once and leave you a comment below that how you find it obviously i know you will like it to some extent if you love crochet if you do crochet and you have you are a crochetaholic mm, so thank you till the next video uh, subscribe my channel and uh, join my facebook page also comment below for your uh, future suggestion how what uh, else videos you want thank you till that